Hi, I'm Mark Muir from GeorgeIrishDiscDogs.com. This weekend I was at the, uh, past weekend I was at the Skyhounds World Disc Dog Championship. Something I really enjoyed to get watching was the extreme distance part of the event. I've never been able to really throw far. I've got a lot of plastic in my shoulder from surgeries, but I, I like to study the sport and see how the farther disc throwers throw their discs. So I kind of picked up a few more things. You know, I'm, I'm normally teaching just the short 42 yard throws like this. Well, some things I picked up this weekend from talking to some of the people like Darren Barris, Rob McLeod, and, and Preston Dean were some of the tips they gave me and some stuff I'd, I had known from when I used to coach baseball. What I noticed is a lot of times the energy is, the biggest problem is the energy is not thrown in the direction of where you're going to be throwing. So you need to be focusing on taking all this energy when you're throwing long distance and letting it go out your fingertips so you can exceed on the farther throws. It's not the same throw that you're going to do on your normal like toss and fetch distance and accuracy throws. So one thing I noticed is there, I, I'm coming off knee surgery so I can't do all the motion. You'll see the spin moves really quick on the spin moves. One thing I noticed about the spin moves is if you're going to do the spin moves that maybe you see Peter Bloom or Rob McLeod do, when you spin, it's about coming out with the energy coming around and the energy still going out. The problem I see some of the people making, not Rob, Rob does it great, is a lot of people just spin and then they pause or something and they throw. They did nothing but a circle. If you're going to spin, you've got to be able to take your energy and continue it forward on your throw. I'm not going to be able to get as low, low as Rob and like Preston do, but something I noticed very in co common with Preston, Rob, and um, Darren was when they were taking, they, they were all taking their arms really far back. It's like grabbing a lawnmower. You're going to crank a lawnmower. You're going to crank the mower. You're going to pull the mower forward and crank it. It's a hard crank. So you're reaching back as far as you can, torquing your upper body and bringing the throw through. And that's how that works. So I'm going to show you some of the different, a couple of the different throws. Thunder. And I'm going to have Thunder with me. Come here, Thunder. Come here, buddy. Right, first I'm going to throw a competition standard. Thunder. Okay, good boy. Stay. Stay. And this is me not ever been able to throw far, but I actually was able to uh, exceed 74 yards this past weekend, where I've normally only been able to throw 50 by just watching some of the things they do. So, Thunder, stay. So I'm going to bring it way back. Be careful that you don't torque the disc. I had noticed for a while Darren was having a little bit of an issue and he was torquing the disc this way and I found that he was making that mistake. You want to have that flat throw, highs are back, thunder, go. Go. So, my grip was a little bad that time. That was my fault. That was my mistake. I'm going to throw another one. Thunder, stay, drop. Ready, go. That was a simple 60 yard throw and there wasn't that much to it and I was, I was unable to use my lower body. So now I'm gonna throw one of these, um, the jaws, the little putt disc. Thunder stay. The lighter the disc, the more hyzer normally you're gonna need to throw. The ultimate scenario is when you're throwing long distance is also that you have a wind coming over your shoulder. There is no wind this morning. So I'm bringing the disc back. Thunder, go. Straight down the middle. About a little over 60 meters. Um, so, basically what I'm trying to say is you've got to work on, when you're throwing long distance, you don't, have, you don't need to have any wasted energy. Your energy needs to be ever, however you do it, and bring it out and explode it at your fingertips. One other thing is, once your dog's set, and you're going to give him the go cue word, you cannot worry about him. Your focus, it takes a little more accuracy and more focus on making the good throw here. So you have to be more focused yourself. So once he's once he's down, I don't even I can't even worry about him no more. So now my mind is getting clear, and I'm visualizing where I want to throw it. So thunder, go. Go! So, 
I'm Mark Muir, George Thank you.